Hi everyone, I'm Emily and today we have a special guest. Her name is Megan Steinberg. She's actually an ESM graduate and she works for Snapchat by making filters. You work for Snapchat mm -hmm. and yeah. could you tell me about your job? Like what do you do? Sure. So I am a graphic design specialist for Snapchat, but I kind of am a jack of all trades. I work on well, when I first started, I worked on the editorial team and I was doing filters for all of the live stories on Snapchat. So like any event that we had, Halloween, Christmas, like random little fun national holidays, um, basketball tournaments, stuff like that. Uh, and then I kind of shifted gears. I worked on the partnerships team for a year and my job was solely to make filters for official accounts on Snapchat. So I was working with a lot of athletes, DJs, influencers, a lot of the like TikTok influencers now also making like caricatures for them, filters for events, all that kind of stuff. And I did that for about a year. And now I work on the originals team. So I'm making key art for all of our like poster art for all of our original shows, but I still kind of do the other things that I did before. So I've just kind of taken roles on as I've gone along with my job. Tuesday night, Sarah McBride won a seat in the Delaware State Senate, becoming the first openly transgender state senator in the United States. She will also be the nation's highest ranking openly transgender official. She defeated her opponent, Stephen Washington, 73% to 27%. This is not the first time McBride has made history. She had interned with the Obama administration, making her the first openly transgender person to work in the White House, and she was the first transgender person to speak at a major party's national convention in 2016. I hope tonight shows an LGBTQ kid that our democracy is big enough for them too, McBride tweeted Tuesday night. As Delaware continues to face the COVID crisis, it's time to get to work to invest in the policies that will make a difference for working families. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Juniors, sophomores, and freshmen, if you would like to order your class ring or new this year, a class necklace, a rep from Harris Jones will be here on Monday, November 9th and Thursday, November 12th during lunches. There are also flyers in the large cafe on the table by the door now. If you have any other questions, please see both Ms. Recker in the, welc in the welcoming booth. Students, when you enter the school in the D-Wing or through the front doors, you must sit in the cafeteria until the announcement is made for the first block unless you are in the TV news class. If you enter the Hall of Fame and you are not going to breakfast in the cafeteria, you are to remain in the small gymnasium till the first block announcement is made. So how do those work? Like, how do you make a filter? Yeah, so they have to be a certain dimension. So we have to set them up, you know, in a certain size, which is pretty much the size of a phone screen. It's, it's you know, if you want the technicalities of it, 1080 by 1920 is the size of the <laughs> But um, we, make them in Illustrator and Photoshop. So everything is digital, but we do sometimes do sketch phases on filters and key art, where if you just kind of need to jot something down on a piece of paper for your own brain to know how it's gonna look before you put it in a computer and do all of that. But yeah, we, we use mostly Adobe programs. So Photoshop, Illustrator, we use Cintiq like drawing tablets with a pen that just translate right into the app. Yeah, that's how we make everything. Today we'll have sunny skies with a high of 70. Tomorrow will be pl partly cloudy with a high of 67. This weekend is going to be sunny and warm with highs in the 70s. Monday and Tuesday we'll have highs of 73 with some cloudy skies. Wednesday there will be possible rain showers with a high of 70. I'm Gabby with your weather. In upcoming games, the tennis team has a match as we go and the, the field hockey team has a game at Liverpool. The girls soccer team stayed undefeated beating JD last night 2-0. Girls were, the girls' goals scored were by Lena Polcaro and Jenna Hudgens. The boys' soccer team, however, did not come away with a win, losing to JD 1-0. Tonight, the Green Bay Packers will play the San Francisco 49ers in Thursday night football. The Packers are looking to rebound from, last, from a loss last week, while the 49ers will be short, very short-handed due to injuries across the team. As of 1 o'clock this morning, ESPN announced Syracuse star D.B. Trill Williams has opted out 
of the rest of the season and has declared for the NFL draft. I'm Isabel with your sports. Um, so what classes in ESM could you take to start going into graphic design? Um, so I don't really know like what classes they have now. When I was there, like Miss Russo's class, I actually never took it because I was more of a technical artist. Like Mr. Sincata and Miss DeMonte were like, I wouldn't be an artist without the two of them. They were such mentors to me, especially Mr. Sincata. He like helped me get into college, like really pushed me to show like what my potential as an artist was and really convinced me that I could actually do this for a career. Um, but I was more of a, I drew, I was really good at drawing. I was really good at realism. Like I could take a photo of a person and just make it look exactly like them. Um, I never really even thought about being a designer. So I just took all the general art classes in, at ESM. I took ceramics for fun, like really anything. If you have any interest in any art, like any of the classes there are going to be great just to get you in photography. Black and white photography was like my favorite class.